Right, here we go, the last part of the Q&A. Uh, no more questions are going to be accepted until I do another one, which probably won't be for a while. But here we go, carrying on from last time, question 11 slash 12. I'm going to go with 12, so it sounds like I've had more questions than I actually have. Face reveal. Uh, I'm just going to put a picture of myself up, so it's going to be on the screen now. I'm the one on the left holding the guitar. Uh, it's a picture I did from my media studies and it's one of the only pictures that doesn't, doesn't want to make me fucking cringe back into my own skull. Yeah, it's actually from a couple of years ago but I'd pretty much gone unchanged. Yeah, I uh, did it for media studies about bands. We had to do a thing about a, a band and you do an interview of them and shit. So uh, that's what we did. I interviewed myself <laughs> as a bit of print media or something. So there you go, that's why that's why that picture exists, basically. Uh, that proves anybody who said I was a fat wanker wrong, doesn't it? Because I'm apparently, according to some people, one of the least fat people ever, which, whatever. And apparently I look like Heath Ledger, according to my old, one of my old assistant managers at work and a violin teacher at school. So I don't know what you guys think about that. Probably not the best picture to to judge that but, but hey at least I'm wearing a loud shirt so there you go uh, if you haven't screenshotted that picture don't and it's going off screen now question number 13 you have a waifu question mark in my last Q&A uh, the one when I got to 10,000 subscribers I said I didn't have one but then I answered it anyway but now I've thought about it I would say uh, yes I do and that is Makisei Karisu from Steins Gate. Yeah, if you haven't realised, she is the channel avatar at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's Makisei Karisu. She, uh, this is quite sad really, but she's one of the only characters I've cried over. If you've ever played Steins Gate or read, read the uh, visual novel as it is, because it's more of a novel, isn't it? Her ending and the true ending really got to me. Um, you get really invested in that character and she was worth uh, crying my eyes out over. She She's really w well written, she's a fantastic character. She puts to shame most other characters in like any form of medium I'd say. She, uh, she is absolutely fantastic. She's smart, she's uh, very attractive, she's not afraid to stand up for herself. Yeah and she has a sense of humour as well. She's a bit cold to some people. Yeah, she's a fantastic character. She'd definitely get my vote. There's a fantastic bit in the anime actually where it's when they go to Ferris's apartment and they want her to turn on the phone wave because she's still back at the lab. And she keeps hanging off on Okabe too <laughs> because he's keep he keeps being rude to her. That's quite fantastic really. And she's a really understanding character as well. I don't want to spoil it for you, but um yeah, I'd say, say it be her. Um, if you want to know what the other two choices are, I'll put a link into the original video. So yeah, there we go, I'd say, say it's uh, Makisei Kisu. Question number 14, what is the difference between Dynasty Warriors, Extreme Legends and Empires? Uh, the difference is only two of those games are fun. Uh, no, I'm only joking. Uh, Dynasty Warriors follows the story of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which is a book which is a heavily fictionized version of second century China and you follow certain generals and their factions or kingdoms, whatever you want to call them, on their unification to China. So basically you follow them around, it tells a story of where, usually where to the downfall of one of the kingdoms. If you're playing as Wei, it's until like Cao Cao dies or whatever. Yeah, and occasionally you get like hypothetical scenarios, so if your kingdom did actually managed to unify all of China and you have extra modes and shit like there's a mode where you build a castle and stuff and you go around killing people for materials and stuff. Uh, Extreme Legends is based on the same thing you can use the original Dynasty Warriors disc to get the original story with Extreme Legends you get more hypothetical stories so so characters that didn't get very much playtime in the original story will get an extra stage or two stages or whatever in Extreme Legends. It's basically their way of making just stuff up, uh, actually writing a story instead of borrowing it all the time. Quite badly written stories, but nevertheless, that's neither here nor there. So yeah, that's Extreme Legends for you, basically just extra scenarios and they do improve upon some of the stuff uh, released in the original game instead of making an update because uh, having updates is too difficult apparently. And empires. Empires, basically you build your own kingdom and you can make your own characters and stuff. 
and the combat is more focused on capturing bases. So uh, you have a main base and the enemy has a main base and there'll be like a bunch of ones in between and you have to capture a chain to their main camp. So you can win battles and uh, the battles are usually limited to only 15 minutes. Yeah, there you go. And you can hire officers, you can capture people, you can execute them. It sounds a lot more fun when you talk about it than it actually is. But uh, yeah, there you go. Hopefully that's answered your question. Question 15. Will you someday make a stream playing with subs? Uh, maybe. Depends. Depends on my internet, really. Whenever I'm free, so usually in the evenings, that is when the internet is the worst. So that is when I do all my editing and then I upload videos in the night. So, and the difference is most of my audience is apparently from America and I live in England. So times when I could actually play with these people is a bit difficult. So yeah, maybe someday I'll sort it out. I don't know, it might be if I get to 25,000 subscribers or something, I might do that. Just my internet at the moment is fucking dreadful. Said so they'd take them 28 days to sort it out because my internet provider changed, but they, they don't know they're fucking assholes from their ear rolls, basically. It's fucking shocking. It's barbaric. The fucking internet speeds I get here sometimes during the day. I might as well be using fucking rocks and sticks to fucking make fire to get better fucking internet. It's fucking atrocious. Although, weirdly, my laptop, the internet seems to be fine all the time. It seems to be unencumbered with fucking shitty internet speeds, but the the desktop computer that I spent loads of money on and my PS4 don't connect most of the time. During the day to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's fine. Any other time it's fucking just shit, so I don't know. If I sort my internet out, I might, if I can be bothered really. If I leave the country, I might. <laughs> no, um, someday I will. Question 16. This version of your gameplays is the Japanese version because the Jap version for Dead or Alive DOA Extreme 3 is suppose in Jap with English subs. You mean, I presume you mean the Japanese version. Although it's not, the Japanese version only has Japanese subtitles. Uh, the Asian version of uh, Dead or Alive Extreme 3, i.e. the ones that released in Hong Kong, China and uh, whatever the other place is, those have Japanese dubs but English subtitles and Chinese subtitles, uh, only because they didn't want to release it in the West, because that whole debacle and then uh, SJW's misandry, Ooh, fuck off. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're a cunt and you talk about SJWs, uh, unsubscribe, because you're a twat. You're just fucking enabling these people. But, uh, getting a bit off track, uh, I played a Japanese version of Senran Kagura when I want to play as the Ikitosen characters. Otherwise, I play the English version, because I like to be able to read with 100% accuracy uh, on what it is, not um, Japanese, because my Japanese isn't that great. Question 17. If you were to win the lottery today and you could spend a day with any person in the world, how would you spend the money and who would that person be? I don't think I'd spend it with uh, somebody I idolise or celebrity, because uh, then that, I think that shatters the illusion of what your perception is of them. So if you think they're like a really great person, you actually meet them, then they're a bit of a dick, and then that's your uh, ambitions and whatever. Maybe not ambitions, but that's your perception of them gone. If I won the lottery. I've said this many a times, probably to you actually in person, but uh, <laughs> my thing is to win the lottery, because I never really talk to anybody like on Facebook or anything. It would be, I, if I won the lottery, I, I would announce that I'd won the lottery on Facebook. And then as soon as anybody starts talking to me, I would immediately block and unfriend them. <laughs> Just for a fucking laugh. Yeah, I think that'd be the best way. Because, I mean, who who needs fucking money, money scrubbers? Uh, yeah. No, if I won the lottery and I had to spend it with a day with a person, um, I would probably, maybe a bit of a cliche, but I'd spend it with somebody who uh, hasn't got very long to live. I'd take them to a theme park or somewhere. Like, there's a guy in this country and he had a rare case of aggressive cancer that was basically incurable and he knew he was going to die but he was still like he was um he was like strong until the end he's like called steven something or other i can't sorry i can't really can't remember his name but 
um, somebody like him and take their family as well so then they have a really good really good memories of him as well I'm sure they would have good memories of them anyway but just give them that a bit extra so then they know their last couple of days were really good and it's something they can cherish for the rest of their lives yeah I'd do something like that really cliche but um, yeah these people deserve it the people that are fucking strong no matter what not to say other people don't deserve it but I think they're the ones that deserve it the most I, that's, that's who I'd spend it with somebody who deserves it really not a, not a celebrity because they already have enough money last question uh, question number 18 I thought this was a bit of a joke initially but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt uh, it is what kind of games do you play um, I presume you mean ones outside of the channel, but I'll list the stuff in the channel anyway. Obviously the main games that I do are Senran Kagura, Dynasty Warriors, Sen Goku Basara, Samurai Warriors, which is basically the same thing as Dynasty Warriors, and the occasional Dead or Alive for the channel, and then whatever else I feel, feel like. Outside of the channel I play JRPGs, so like Persona 3 and 4, Demon Gaze, which is a fucking great game. Danganronpa, I don't know if that counts as a JRPG, but uh, whatever, it's a good game. Other stuff, I play like third person shooters, like Ratchet and Clank, the new one's pretty good actually. And the older ones, I went back and played Tours of Destruction the other day. Uncharted, those are pretty good games. I'm going through the HD collection again. Well, I say again, I mean I played the originals on PS3. Other stuff like strategy games, Shogun Total War is pretty good, but uh, the second one that is, uh, that's like rock, paper, scissors gameplay really in this, um, certain thing beats another. And that's pretty good, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is another great game, Valkyria Chronicles, probably like the best game I've ever played. Uh, I don't want to ruin most of these things because I'm actually going to do an end of year uh, awards thing, it would be a bit of a piss take of other people, but um, yeah. Basically anything with a decent story and decent gameplay, um, shit games be banned. Although I do have one shit game that I actually enjoy, and that is Fuse. It's, it's shit, uh, and I know it's shit, but it's, it's just fun. Me and my friend used to do co-op, and we used to just get our asses handed to us. And it's quite a fun game when you're drunk with like, uh, so you can do uh, split screen online. So we used to have, we used to bring my TV in my room downstairs, well the one I used for my computer anyway. Uh, downstairs in front of the other TV and we used to do four players on across two PS3s. That used to be quite funny. Shit game, but uh, I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, anything I find fun I'll play basically. Although I have to play it to find it fun, so it sort of defeats the object there, doesn't it? Uh, there you go, hopefully that's answered your question. Oh, Pokemon, I play Pokemon as well. I haven't played them in a while though, but uh, whenever a free Pokemon is being given away on online or whatever they do with the gifts, I pick those up and then I think I'll play this and then I never do. So there you go, hopefully that's answered to your question. Uh, and that is the last one. Well there we go, that is um, the end of the 15,000 subscriber Q&A. Uh, thanks for listening, maybe you enjoyed it, maybe, maybe you were one of the few people that saw that I had the audacity to upload a video disliked it and then immediately unsubscribed um if you're one of those people fuck you basically uh it's quite sad that i have to say that and i i find it funny really um yeah just a bit of news um probably won't do another one of these for a little while uh because the channel is sort of grinding to a halt i'm so deciding what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and um get back into my usual uploading schedule because I sort of dropped off a bit it's um it's hard to get motivated to do videos again but uh and try and get ones that are under 15 minutes so I'll try and do as much as I can really it's uh and my internet isn't helping it's just fucking shit all the time basically so yeah I'll try and do what I can uh thanks for listening uh and praise the gravy and I'll see you in potentially the next video if I speak that is way <laughs> see you later